Hey, everybody. Welcome to Jen Lowry Writes. All right, I want to talk with you guys a little bit and invite you over to Monarch Books That Matter. That is my second YouTube channel. And I want to talk with you about what you'll find there. So if you guys have been following my author journey, wow, it has been just crazy. <laughs> when I find my, signed my first publishing contract in 2018 for Sweet Potato Jones, that's my YA contemporary. When I signed that, I would have never thought that I would have had my own publishing company. Now in 2022, we just released our first book, A Study in Terminal by Karen Lineberg. We have signed seven authors uh, with Monarch. So we are growing and we are a strong little group. But I'm just excited and thrilled and just at all at what God does when we just open our hearts and honor our blank pages, whatever that might look like. And I'm just so thankful that I've had the support and the encouragement because I'm also that author too. So if you haven't been following like my Instagram, please go check that out. My Jen Lowry author page on Facebook. If you live there or Twitter at Jen Lowry writes, because I'm still writing my poetry. So that is something that I do have time to kind of embrace that part of my life. And poetry has always been with me, even when I was young. Like I can remember creating a, a shape poem in a cross, just sitting in my 10th grade English class, um, reflecting on the love of Jesus and uh, his giving of his life and sacrifice for me. So I will let you guys know that like early on poetry was a part of those little sweet romances I was writing about uh, kids going off to Chapel Hill where ironically my son goes now. Um, it's just hilarious to see like the evolution of a lifetime of writing. And Monarch now is a part of those pieces of that puzzle. I like to talk about how God just continues to add to our lives and enrich us in so many ways. And this blessing with Monarch has truly been one. So when we first started, it was self-publishing for me. And I was publishing my own collection. And like, OK, I've got one right here because I just did a video over at Monarch. So like, for example, you know, Hello Words. That is one of my little poem books that I had for kids. So I was writing poetry. I was poetry collections. I have three of those. I've got adult fiction. I have middle grades, young adult picture books. I have it all right on my Monarch brand. When you would see that out there, you knew that that was me publishing my work. Well, now. As you know, Monarch has turned into a boutique press. We are a traditional publisher and it is just a phenomenal whirlwind. And now that we are specializing in middle grade and young adult and my love of literacy and my background and my expertise in the field just continues to carry on through Monarch. And that's where we've got Monarch Academy. So Monarch Academy is just free lessons free ELA lessons for 612. So in, in guys, really, if if your young child, if you want them to watch our videos, all of our videos are clean. All of our videos are standard spe um, specific. They'd be able to build their literacy skills early. But because Monarch is a 612 kind of middle grades world, YA young and uh, young adult and middle grades text, the books that we have in our publishing company, that's kind of like just how we've packaged everything with Monarch Academy. But you guys are just so welcome to allow your students to, to watch our videos because in those video lessons, I'm going to be teaching ways to access text and ways to build comprehension and things to consider, especially for teachers, homeschool families, and just students who are ready to embrace their reading and go after it. Um, I'm just really excited about Monarch Academy and what that, that could do for our, our world. Um, having lessons online, uh, it's like tutoring. It's like enrichment, but it can also serve as a platform for people of, of all ages who may want to increase their literacy skills 
and it's all free. So that's what's happening over at Monarch. So I'm building those teaching videos there and I'm separating them from my Jen Lowry writes piece here. So if you guys kind of look back over the course of all of my Jen Lowry writes work here, I talk about my author journey, I've written live, I do interviews, I'm still a podcast host. Um, I did take a break from podcasting and doing interviews. You can kind of see that and you're like, wait, where's Jen's interviews? Well, I was, um, I found out that I had glaucoma and I was going through that period where I had to have surgery and all of my people know that uh, the podcast um, community, they knew that I needed to take a break away from the screen, from the screen time, from reading a lot of books <laughs> to prep, to, uh, to be able to um, kind of save that eye energy that, that was going on with me because I was uh, very close to uh, going blind. And thankfully, I uh, just made a random appointment and it was not random. It was all God. Um, to the exact eye doctor whose father had the same exact glaucoma that I have. It was just all a God thing. And so I'm just so thankful for uh, God's blessing and continued um, presence in my life. He will never leave you or forsake you. And that's included in my author world, uh, health, my business, my job, and speaking of, new job. <laughs> <laughs> so now uh, working the new job has been absolutely amazing. Uh, I just love to be able to spread the joy of reading and writing, speaking and listening uh, to everyone. And I think that once I stepped out of the classroom and hit that new role, I was like, you know what? I, I got to share all this. I've got to continue to teach. That's a part of my life. That's a part of that puzzle piece. And so that's where Monarch Academy 2 came from as well, because it's my passion to be able to just give and give. And that's where we are. Um, so at Jen Lowry Writes, I'm going to continue to write. I've got Pinwich Chronicles, guys. That's like that close to being done. It's like, like right there. You see that little space? Like, I'm so close to finishing up that easy reader chapter book. I cannot wait for that one. I'm planning on doing that during July Nano. Um, I do not work two weeks in July. So those two weeks are going to allow me to finish up that book and send it off to my editor. Um, I've already got some workings on some covers. I have a new cover designer. So I'm really excited about seeing how all that can come together. So the Pinwitch Chronicles is going to be one of our first of many Caterpillar books that we're going to be having under our Monarch brand, because not only are we going to serve middle grades and young adult, but we are going to be looking for um, those Caterpillar books in the future. It's one of our first, but not the first, because Best Buddies Book Club is going to be the first there. So I've written a children's picture book, and our illustrator, Corin has accepted that challenge to help us with um, just the blast of watercolor throughout. I that's my favorite style ever in a children's book. I don't know. You can tell me what your favorite style is, but I love watercolor books. Um, they're just so inviting. And uh, that's one of her favorite mediums. So I, I think it's just a perfect match. Um, I'm very thankful to the Arts Council for uh, supplying us with the grant to be able to work towards that goal to highlight a group of students and teachers through Best Buddies Book Club. So we are going to be launching that first. That one's coming in 2023. So I just wanted to kind of give you an update, like children's book, easy readers. I'm thinking that for me, and I'm just going to be transparent about it. I don't really want to compete with my authors and, and work in the YA or, you know, you know, I've got YA fantasy. I got YA middle grades. You guys know how much I love fantasy. However, do I want to write in that particular middle grades and young adult space? Because I have my authors now. I'm like, hmm, what can I do? I can still continue to write my poetry. I can still continue to write my easy readers, which I absolutely adore. Um, if it wasn't for the Mary Pope Osborne series, I, I just really wish I could meet Mary Pope Osborne, Magic Treehouse. Like that was the 
flame that started that spark that allowed my child to embrace reading early on. Um, absolutely love that series. Um, so working in that space and working easy readers and Caterpillar books, that's something that I could feel that I'm doing, that honoring of that blank page. But I also am not competing with my monarch authors and trying to put a book out there at the same time around their work. So that's what's been happening with me. Um, so you guys are pretty much hearing a lot of this stuff first. Um, I really just appreciate all the support here. Um, I'm trying to think of some other things, too, that I have. Oh, so I've been getting a lot of messages about some of my dissertation work in the past and some suggestions about dissertations and research questions. And I'm like, you know, again, this channel, Jen Lowry Writes, it's like, OK, that's a part of it. Right. So working towards that um, to create some more of those videos to help support learners at all stages in their educational career. Um, I'm very uh, passionate about that, just to support and share out, you know, maybe what I've learned, lessons I've learned. And the, one of the greatest lessons I can just pass on to you now is honor your blank page, whether that's fiction, nonfiction, poetry, art, design, just go after it, guys. Okay, begin your day with prayer, every day with prayer, asking the Lord to give you the words that you need to say. And uh, he will not lead you astray. So. It's been nice talking to you guys. I hope that y'all have a wonderful rest of your day. Thank you for joining me here on Jen Lowry Wright. I want to let you know I'm still around. Kind of wanted to let you know, you know, why you haven't been seeing some podcast videos up. Um, and to know about Monarch because Monarch does take a lot of my energy. So I am the sole owner of Monarch. I do have a team around me that are freelanced. So when you see that I'm talking about our editors, our designers, our illustrator, you know, these are people that have joined me on this process and I can freelance out. But everything with Monarch, when I say everything, when I mean uh, acquisition and um, reviews and arcs, and social media and marketing <laughs> promotion <laughs> and building relationships and connections and monarch academy <laughs> uh yeah that's jen lowry right there y'all and uh the lord you know is continuing to just fill fill me up and allow me to have that space that energy that mental energy that physical energy uh, to be able to do all of those things. Um, because through, you know, Christ, all things can work for his glory and for his good. So, you know, when I give my writing life, when I give my business life to the Lord, then, you know, we're in a partnership together. So when I say I'm the sole owner, I want you guys to understand that it is through the workings of the Holy Spirit that I've even gotten to this place and started this place and am continuing in this space. So it's all within those workings. And I give all glory to Him. And with every triumph and with every challenge, I am praising God for His presence in my life. And I want to thank you guys personally, because without you guys here with me, it just would be like, like, why? <laughs> so uh, you guys help motivate me and encourage me to continue to be here, to be on videos and uh, just one, share my love of the Lord, share my love for writing. Um, we are getting ready to have a publisher's Q&A. So if you guys are interested in learning more about Monarch, uh, if you've got some questions about Monarch, we are a boutique press. I have been receiving phone calls, emails, asking about hybrid publishing for book packaging. That's not us. We are a boutique press. You can go check out our 
website. So you know I have that jenlowrywrites.com website. That's my all my author world. Then I have monarcheducationalservices.com. That is my business world when it comes to my monarch publishing company. So we have those two things uh, going on simultaneously in my life. So you can check that out. Uh, check out our upcoming events. We've got Ashley White's release on August 9th. And we're going to be having a live party for that. So you do not want to miss that when we honor Ashley and the work that she's done with the Impossible Girl. Guys, this is the fantasy you've been waiting on. Let's just say love it so much. And I get to hug it. Um, you will too soon. Uh, so, so thank you guys for joining me today and I will take you guys out. Bye.